Well, the CDC will look at two different things to determine if a patient has recovered, and our state also follows those guidelines. Some relief for New Mexico. As of right now, 133 people have recovered from COVID-19. The two criteria that are used is one is symptom-based, the other is testing-based. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention considers a COVID-19 patient recovered if they've, one, been symptom-free for 72 hours or if the patient has received two negative tests. KOAT's Dr. Barry Ramos says the CDC's criteria is pretty broad. It is okay for local governments to set their own standards. If you look at the criteria that are being established all over the world, it's a changing one. Uh, in some places, it really is a much longer period that people have to be free of symptoms. On top of following those CDC guidelines, New Mexico health officials are also looking at different factors for each patient's individual situation to determine if they've hit recovery. This is a moving target and we're learning more and more about how long the virus is staying in the system. Ramos says while a patient would technically be in the clear meeting those CDC standards, those who've had the virus should be careful. I think I continue to be extremely cautious about exposing anybody else if you if you've had the infection at least for 14 days. Dr. Ramos said that with more rapid testing being approved, this is going to allow us to find out who has recovered a lot faster and who has those antibodies to fight the virus. Reporting in Albuquerque, Maris Armas, KOAT Action 7 News. Dr. Ramos also says recovered or not, people need to continue social distancing and wearing face coverings when in public.